Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Here to discuss uh, some GIMP Photoshop and basically look at how you can compress images or photos using GIMP. And it's uh, just a pretty quick video for today. Basically, uh, before I get to the GIMP, uh, I just want to note that sometimes it is a good idea to compress photos. For example, Twitter, Facebook, Google+, etc. Other sites have photo size limits, so you, that's one reason you want to compress them. Or, or if you're not worried about the quality too much, and if you want to compress uh, your photo size, this is really yeah, easy and useful to do with GIMP. So I'll just drag this in. Uh, basically, and you, yeah, you can easily compress with GIMP. Yeah, so I'll just go open this. I'll test it out with this one. This is my Math Easy Solutions website logo. Edit with GIMP. I'll drag this in right here. Yeah, so here's the logo, MatthewSolutions.com. Uh, it's currently under construction, but if you see this in probably in a month or so, this video, this should be up and running. So basically, as you can see, this is a 120 uh, kilobyte size. That's pretty small still, but it doesn't matter. You could still make it smaller. And as you can see, the quality looks like this, and I'll show you how quality doesn't change much and even though you compress it. So all you do is go to File, Export As, so as you would do anything, you could either do PNG, JPEG, or, or whatnot, let's call this Compressed. Now we can go Export. I'll just click this button. Yeah, okay. So basically, as you can see, it has uh, this stuff, uh, and basically all you gotta do is actually just lower this compression level. You can lower to whatever and, and test out how the quality is. Uh, but if you're dealing with JPEG, Instead of compression level, it would be just called, let's say, uh, basically be dealing with the quality here. So all you could do is lower it. Let's just lower it to, let's go to 50% quality, or 60 actually. Let's go export. So yeah, now we can just close this. And as you can see here, it's uh, 120 kilobytes. We made it to JPEG, and it's 14. So JPEGs usually you could compress even smaller than PNG. Uh, so now what we could do is view the difference. I'll drag this inside, and as you can see, there's the, this. Uh, this one looks like this is the the logo, the original 120 kilobytes, and now there's the compressed 14 kilobytes. As you see, there is no change. I'm, I'm switching back and forth. There is no change difference, but it, it, you only have to zoom in to notice the difference. So uh, if I zoom in this one, this is the uh, original the 120 kilobytes as you can see it's really white here when you change and zoom in, as you can see the quality is is pretty bad when you zoom in but when you're dealing with when you're not worried too much about people zooming in and really caring what it is or you could make the compression level not as much as I did but regardless as you can see 14 kilobytes uh, as opposed to 120 that's uh, almost 10 yeah, almost 10 times the compression Anyways, that is all for today. I hope you learned from this quick video, and thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.